Shells and Men's Shed, uh, it could be a crash for all men. <laughs> uh, it's basically a club and it was set up to alleviate. I would call it loneliness. A lot of men here have uh, lost their, their partners and it shatters them. Uh, they don't know what to do with themselves. So it's some place to get a bit of company and keep the, the old mind ticking over. You will come in. You can work in the men's shed, whether it be woodwork, metal work. You want a game of darts, you want to play pool, cards, just have a chat. And being men, you don't talk face to face, you work shoulder to shoulder. Coming to the men's shed was one of the best things I'd done because I had given up the bowling and I had given up my pals simply because my wife needed care all the time and the two of us just live in kind of isolation. I forgot how to laugh because my life was so serious just all the time. And of course that affects your health. If I don't get it together properly, my wife would have to go into care, which would cost a fortune. But now, I'm, through coming to the shed, I definitely, I'm different. I feel different and I feel all the guys, I've, I've seen guys coming here who are on a bit of downer and I've seen them blossoming. I really have, I've seen them coming out here. Well, the benefit I get, and this is not me making the examination, it's my friends and my neighbours. Uh, my son, you've been at the shed today, I can tell Dad the difference in your voice is unbelievable. And it's inspiring to know that when I go home, whatever I've benefited here, I managed to, in fact, take with me. Not intentionally trying to talk, make them think I'm feeling good. I am feeling good because the difference is just there. Now, you'll see outside the number of cars that we've got up with all their names on it. And the difference is that you walk in here if you don't know a person, but I've had a conversation with them, you look round, you see a person's name, it matches the face you've seen. From then onwards, you're linked in, and you, in fact, can carry on this conversation with confidence. And this is, to my mind, been a big making of this. Hardly anybody here ever talks without addressing someone with the first name. I'm learning to laugh here. I'm, I had an old banjo I had in the wardrobe for 40 years and I ended up coming here and I met Bob who builds banjos and makes them and he's got me back on the banjo. So it's fantastic. You're not sitting in a pub. You're not sitting there all day for a couple of beers. You're not sitting in the house looking at a raisin form. You're, you're being active and I feel very healthy being active in what I'm doing, both physically and mentally.